Welcome to Fantasy Alarm TV and the Big Three. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. The first number of the day is number 18, as in the number of strikeouts for Corey Kluber. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Corey Kluber did have a great effort, 18 strikeouts, one of the best, if not the best, eight-inning pitch game in the history of baseball, but that's too obvious. Let's move on from that. The first number of the day is actually 81.8. That's a left-on-base percentage of Sonny Gray at this point. That's not a number he's going to be able to continue to uphold. Very few guys, like a handful, have an 80% left-on-base percentage rate uh, any, in any given season. Uh, Clay Kershaw, the only pitcher in baseball to be at that rate the last two years. 75% rate for Gray for his career is still really good. The league average is about 70%. Bottom line is, you have to expect his ERA to go up a little bit. Now, that's not to say a lot, maybe a little bit. We're looking at a pitcher with a 270 ERA for his career, a 1-1 rip for his career, 8 strikeouts, 54% ground ball rate, all that fantastic stuff. He has done one extra thing this year that he hasn't done previously, and that is he's cut the walks. About three walks per nine innings the last couple of seasons. This year, 2.4 walks per nine innings. If he can keep the number there with those strikeouts, those ground balls, those ratios won't go up hardly at all. Sonny Gray on the verge of becoming a superstar in the fantasy game. The second number of the day is four. Very basic number. That's the number of times in the last five outings that Cole Hamels has allowed two or fewer earned runs. He's back to being Cole Hamels. His area's last five starts is 3.24, pretty good. The 124 whip is a little bit high, and that's because he's still walking, guys. 3.6 batters walked per nine innings during that time. He did this last year where he started out very slowly in the control column, and as the season wore on, the walks lessened to the point where he almost didn't walk anyone on a daily basis. Expect the walks to continue to come down with them, his success to grow. Over those last five games, even with all those walks, averaging more than 10 strikeouts an inning, don't forget Cole Hamels when you think about stars, superstars, top-level pitchers in a fantasy game. He is still among that group, despite a somewhat sluggish start. And the final number of the day is 1.14, as in the whip of Miguel Gonzalez. The Miguel Gonzalez that pitches for the Orioles. Now, he's not an exciting guy. A 2.9 ERA, a 1.14 whip, a very impressive start to the season. But moderate strikeout rates, slightly below the league average for his career. Moderate walk rates. And the fact is, despite this hot start... He's really not pitching any differently than he has before. Both Sierra and XFIP show that his performance this season is about a tenth off of what it normally is. He's not a 2.9 ERA guy. He's much more of a 3.9 ERA guy. Gonzalez has been very good to this point. He's got a locked spot in the rotation with the Orioles. When a guy like Kevin Gaussman is ready to go, it's much more likely that Ibaldo Jimenez, uh, Chris Tillman, maybe even Bud Norris lose a spot there. Probably Bud Norris, the most likely one. Gonzalez, a lockdown starter for the Orioles, an AL only option. Really only a streaming option in mixed leagues. Don't forget to visit us at FantasyAlarm.com for all your fantasy baseball needs. That's right. That's what we do there, FantasyAlarm.com. I'm Ray Flowers, Fantasy Alarm TV. Talk to you all again soon.